Mobile Entertainment System, MES, if so equipped. Your entertainment system consists of a DVD player, an LCD screen, a remote control, and one or two wireless headphones. The DVD player is located inside the center console storage box. For independent listening and adjustment from rear seats, your system comes with a remote control and one or two wireless headphones. Press the power button on the headphones to turn them on or off. Turn the volume dial to adjust volume levels. For optimum sound, use the remote to set the volume at the maximum level, then adjust headphones separately. If headphones are turned on and do not receive an audio signal, after 30 seconds, they will automatically turn off to save battery power. On vehicles equipped with remote audio system controls, the front radio control panel has a rear control button. Press to allow the remote control to adjust some audio functions. The button with the headphone speaker icon in the front seat allows you to turn the rear speakers off and turn the rear headphones on. Pressing again will reactivate the rear speakers. To play a DVD, turn the ignition to ACC or on. Then press the power button on the remote and insert a DVD into the slot on the top of the player. The player will grab the DVD and load it automatically. Be sure that the label side of the DVD faces the passenger side when loading. When a DVD is loaded, it will start to play automatically. Use the remote control to adjust DVD play. To eject a DVD, press the eject button on the DVD player. As a safety precaution, video will not play on the front display while the vehicle is being driven. If you wish to watch a DVD on the front display screen, park the vehicle, move the shift lever to park, and apply the parking brake before operating the mobile entertainment system. When parked, front seat occupants can operate their screen by pressing the disc auxiliary button. Selecting display after pressing the setting button will allow you to adjust display features like brightness, tint, color, and contrast. Pull the rear display screen down for viewing. Push back into the console when not in use. For DVD sound, press the disc auxiliary button to send audio through the system's speakers. Here is a brief description of how the remote control buttons function. The power button turns the player on and off. The mode button allows you to switch between main DVD play, auxiliary, FM, SAT, music box, CD, and compact flash, if so equipped. Use the play button to play a disc. Press the pause button to pause play. Press the display button for less than two seconds and the display menu will appear on the screen. Press the menu button when a DVD is playing and the DVD menu will appear. Press again to resume play. Press the stop button once to stop the disc in play. The navigation keys perform a number of functions depending on which mode the player is in. When using the remote control, always aim at the screen. These auxiliary input jacks on the DVD player let you plug video games, portable video players, and any other NTSC or PAL compatible devices into the DVD system. The jacks are color coded for easy identification. The yellow input jack is for video input, while white is audio left and red is audio right. Each of the headphones and the remote control require two batteries. Remove their covers to insert fresh batteries as needed. Further adjustments to DVD play are available using the Nissan controller and on-screen choices as well as the remote control. Please refer to your owner's manual for more information on the mobile entertainment system.